Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Clickhole Quizzes. Now, Clickhole is a website full of valuable information. It's a website with articles written that are completely serious. Uh, and there was this quiz on here that caught my eye called, how many of these things have you yelled while having mind-blowing sex with R.L. Stein? R.L. Stein being the author of the popular book series, Goosebumps. And obviously out of all the quizzes that were on this site, this one spoke to me the most. It, it practically screamed at me while I was having mind-blowing sex with R.L. Stein. I don't think that this quiz will be family friendly at all. So, with that in mind, all the family-friendly people get the fuck out! How many of these things have you screamed out loud during rapturous sex with children's author R.L. Stein? Fuck me until I can't read, you spooky four-eyed Romeo! <laughs> there are two things you excel at, R.L. Stein. Sex and goosebumps. Of which the latter gives me the for the former gives me the latter. Hey, are you the guy who wrote Goosebumps? Cool. Now let's get back to having great sex. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've screamed this. <laughs> this definitely this. Hey, are you the guy? You know what? I wouldn't go into that if I didn't know. Holy shit! I can't believe I'm giving a real Stein HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you taught me to love reading and now you've taught me to love docking. Oh god. <laughs> of course I've said that. I've screamed it. The neighbors know I've said that. This is not even close to the disappointment that Louis Sicar said it would be. Who's Louis Sicar? Young adult mystery comedy author, best known for the Wayside School series and award-winning novel Holes. I have neither read the book Holes or seen the movie Holes, so can't say that. I have not said that. No, I have not said that. If they gave out Coretta Scott King awards for sex, you'd win one for the sex we're having right now. I don't know what the Coretta Scott King award is. Oh, the wife of Martin Luther King Jr. Wow. Out of dignity for Coretta Scott King, I'm gonna not check that one. Muy bien. <laughs> Fuck. Muy bien, Senor Stein, but why don't you have nipples? <laughs> mm. That was definitely a concern that cropped in my mind. Goddamn, R.L. Stein, you sure can fuck. Yep. Please continue whispering. I'm gonna base a Goosebumps book on that. Boot <laughs> <laughs> God. Yep. Wow. Soft hands for some old man. <laughs> He's got to keep his hands nice and soft for right. Scarier. <laughs> Kiss me scarier. God. Awesome. That's like my slogan. Bro, you're successfully fucking my reading level comprehension down to a third grade level. I don't like that reference. Stephen King is a better writer than you, but far less sexually competent. <laughs> Bad. No, I disagree on that one, Stephen King. There's no way he's better. This sex is as pleasurable as your books were scary to me when I was a child. Oh, no. God, stop relating everything to children. Oh, ah! it's fine. Das ist verboten. Erstein, oh, aber ich liebe dich. When I saw the TV adaptation of Goosebumps, I thought there is simply no way the author of the source material is good at sex. But now I know I was wrong. <laughs> very, very wrong. Who wrote this? Who is responsible? Yes, of course I've said these things. Who is responsible? Who wrote this? There's no, one, there's no author. There's no one taking credit for this. It'll probably be at the bottom. Louis Sicar said you'd use way too much hot wax, but I think you're using the perfect amount. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Fuck Louis Sicar, but not in that way. Your artistic credibility pales in comparison to your 100% vertical penis. Really enjoying this sex right now, R.L. <laughs> if I wasn't 117 years old, I'd love for this sex to get me pregnant with an R.L. Stein baby. Well, that one obviously just doesn't apply to me. Does R.L. stand for Raw Dog <laughs> Uh, it would make sense to me if those initials stood for that. <laughs> Wee! 
Both my parents died when I was young and I didn't have many friends growing up, but your books made me feel less alone in the world. In fact, they inspired me to pursue writing myself. And while I wish I could go to school for it, I can't afford to because all the money I make at my custodial job goes into taking care of my grandmother who is very ill right now. She raised me, and I love her, and I will never give up on her. But the day she gets better, I'm going to apply to the Iowa Writers Workshop. This is my dream, and it's all because of your books, so thank you for inspiring me. Oh, yes, keep doing that with your tongue just like that. <laughs> oh, God, no, no, yeah, I said that, yeah, I remember that. It got me booked on that one. Love them balls, <laughs> God, this is, this is messed up. Nothing gets me hotter than when you fan my bare gooch with a tattered copy of Say Cheese and Die. Wait, which one was Say Cheese? This matters. This matters. I, I don't remember if this particular book was fanned on my gooch is what I'm trying to understand here. Hmm. No, I, I don't think that was my gooch that received Say Cheese and Die. Adult film actor John Holmes would have played you in the 2015 Goosebumps film if he'd been alive, and it would have been the perfect casting. Who is John Holmes? Please don't show me a penis. I don't know who that is. But he seems to be dead. Sad. May I wear your glasses as you give me a hickey in the shape of your autograph? What a talent that would be. That'd be incredible. I probably asked for it, but you know, I didn't receive it is the thing. Louis Sicar implied that you would lay there and take it like a sack of potatoes, but the reality is that we've made love on top of every surface inside this shed. Just tremendous sexual creativity RL. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean this as a compliment, but you have sex like you've never written a children's book before. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I think I know what that means, but I don't even know what that means. Oh, your books once gave me tra traumatic nightmares, and this process... <laughs> <laughs> the only other time I've quivered this much was when I was read Goosebumps, and that was with fear. This quiver, however, is of sexual satisfaction. <laughs> oh, RL, do that thing where you tilt your glasses down, grunt, and paw at the ground like a bull before charging into the bed to write a kid's book on my ass. <laughs> You've sold over 400 million books across the world, yet your most impressive accomplishment was your strategic use of the showerhead during foreplay. Yep. Robert Lawrence Stein, you are grounded for making love to me this well. Yep. Big squeal. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Stein. I always think. Okay, cool. Good. Let's get the results. Let's get out of here. You've shouted an average amount of these while having great sex with R.L. Stein. An average amount? When R.L. Stein was making sweet hot sex to you, you shouted your appreciation a reasonably average amount of time. You seemed as equally focused on letting him know it was great sex as you were on participating in the coitus itself. All right, congratulations on having great sex with R.L. Stein. I gotta wait. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the, the all of them. Jesus Christ, who wrote this? This is Outstanding. Okay, here we go. Wow, you've shouted a whole lot while having great sex with R.L. Stein. When R.L. Stein was giving you the best loving of your life, you let him know it loud, proud, and often. It must have meant a lot to hear, to hear how much you were enjoying it. All right, congratulations. All right, wait, I got, there's one more. We got 100% this. You were dead silent while you were having when R.L. Stein was making the dirty on you in a way that would make even the most famous porn stars feel sexually adequate. You did not say a word. You were probably far too busy basking in the five-hour-long full-body Niagara Falls of an orgasm that R.L. Stein was inducing in your loins with the precision and focus of a brain surgeon during an operation. Oh god, what if you just do a couple? What if it's just a couple? You barely shouted anything. When R.L. Stein was fucking your brains out, you were mostly quiet. Must have been tough to think of anything to say when one of the greatest children's authors of all time is making you melt into a puddle of yourself on the floor. God. Who wrote, who, who wrote this? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. <laughs> Who did it? Who's responsible for this? Who did this?
A hero. A hero. I'm never going to look at R.L. Stein the same way again. God, what a man. Uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and continuing with me on this journey. If you, for some reason, want to see more ClickHole quizzes, I can't promise that they'll all be of such a sexual nature, but ClickHole quizzes are notoriously funny for some reason. I don't know why, but this one was particularly... Ticklish to my funny bone and other bones. Wink, 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 wink. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you want to see more, leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below. Figure out some way to let me know. Start slamming buttons down there below. Go at it like R.L. Stein would go at your nether regions. And if you do want to see more, subscribe. And you may see more in the future. So thanks. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!